All right, go ahead and uh, take your questions, if you got any, Gary. No, no, not, uh, you know, given the game that we played here at our place. Uh, and then, you know, even think back to last year, the three games that we played against each other last year and uh, uh, the way that those four games had gone. A lot of the same, you know, a lot of the same guys on both teams. Uh, so, no, no, did not see it going that way. What do you think all went into um, after the Loyola and Indiana State losses? You had said to the guys it's winning time. Uh, what did you really see out of your team there? Yeah, and, and you know, look that 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 came out of the locker room or came out to to the media or you know, at that point. But but we had talked to you know I had talked with the team about it um, early in February, and uh, and when I you know when I first brought it up with the guys, the most important component of winning time was get in and get some extra shots up, uh, go to bed earlier, turn your phones off. Like this is. It's February, you know. It's time. It's winning time, and that's that's been going on the whole month. And you know, it rings a little truer and makes a little more sense when you come off two losses and you've got three left. And to be outright champs, you probably got to win all three of them, right? So that that connects a little bit better, right there. Uh, but it's something that I had talked about the whole month, and uh, it ended up. Uh, um, I think it helped us a lot. We've gotten better over the course of the month. I think the guys have have uh, paid great attention to, to detail. You know, I think they have gotten in more, and I think they have um, taken to heart going to bed a little bit earlier. And, and so that has helped us get better this month. And, you know, and they used it the other way. It's, you, got, you, know, you got three games, and it's winning time. You want to be outright champs, it's winning time. And uh, you know, proud of them for, for getting it done. Pete, how great to the Lord. <clears throat> Yeah, our our activity the, the 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 two things that have have increased the most is our activity level and our communication. In the second half against Southern, you know, our, our we were backed up against the wall a little bit, and uh, what we did defensively in the second half of that game was was the best, you know, the best twenty minutes, or really the, probably fifteen minutes uh, to finish out that game. In terms of our activity level, in terms of our communication, we talked a lot going into that game about, you know, the scouting report. You know, it can't be it can't be so important. Um, and we do a lot in terms of our preparation with film and with scouting, and um, and we expect that the guys are going to know exactly what goes into um, you know everything that goes into the team we're playing. But just felt like that got to be too much of a priority. And fighting hard to win a possession, fighting hard in terms of your resist you know resistance defensively. Um, that we were not doing those things at a level that's worthy of being a conference champ. And that that changed in the second half of the Southern game and feel like that carried over to the Drake game. When it comes to <clears throat> making your team face to an NCAA tournament selection committee, whether it be for getting a seed you feel you deserve after maybe winning the conference tournament or if it goes to the at-large bid, what, what would be the tent poles of the case you would make to the selection committee? Okay. Can I wait till after the weekend to answer that question? Since the well, thank you for allowing it to be my decision. Hey, they 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 look at they're gonna look at everybody's resume, right? I mean, that's you know I, I uh, and I was asked and, and, and you know I was asked uh, uh, on with Andy Katz last week with that one. You know, he asked about hey, make your case, and and uh, and I threw out a couple of the things, but they're all right there on the team sheet. Right. I mean, it's what you've it's what you've done up until this point. And I told him the same thing. If the NCAA tournament started tomorrow, we're in. Guys have done a tremendous job. We're one of the best teams in the country. I don't have any. I have no hesitation in saying that we've got one of the best teams in the country. You look at all of our numbers and you look at what we've done. It's all right there. Right. So it's not me making a case. It's the case the guys have already made. Right. So our our uh, we're going to stay tuned in to what we're doing. We got up this morning and I got after the guys a little bit. And, and uh, we had a good workout. You know, we're going to do it again tomorrow. Right, we got uh, right now. It's Mission Friday, right? And that's it. Um, so, in terms of the other part, you know, I, that case has been made by our players. I think we've got one of the best teams in the country. <clears throat> is, is there a fine line between this time of year between practicing, staying sharp, and, and just having time off before that game on Friday? 
Yeah, so I, you know, it, it ended up working out, Gary, in a, in a little bit of a strange way last week with with having uh, the Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, uh, because a- after <clears throat> after we've played games here for the better part of the last month, uh, in particular, uh, the the five starters have uh, have walked through some things and then sat out, and we've practiced with uh, Antoine and Ty and uh, JD and and Noah um, and, and uh, you know, throwing somebody else in there with them to get a group of five so we could get an extra day of prep for those guys that aren't getting the game minutes. But the, the five starters have sat. And uh, so when you play Sunday, that means those guys had a rest day on Monday. You know, played Wednesday, they had another rest day on Thursday. Uh, so they got a couple of them. And then obviously Sunday was a day off for us. So those guys, if you know, they've, they've played some minutes, right? Uh, uh, but in a little bit of a strain, you think about three three games in six days, and you think, okay, what's going to happen to those five starters? It ended up working out pretty good, you know, because of the way that we've structured practice, and the guys were able to get some rest on that day after those two games. They they were, uh, I think, they feel really good right now. And so this week, uh, we worked out today. We'll work out tomorrow. Uh, we'll lift and have some breakfast on Wednesday morning before we leave. We will not practice on Wednesday, so that they got another day where they're not, you know, uh, they're not pounding it on the court. So. Uh, and we've done that in the past with this week leading up to St. Louis. And then we'll practice on Thursday in the morning. Uh, so, yeah, they'll get another day off on Wednesday. Being the one seed certainly has definite advantages, but um, just the prep for the team you're going to play, you don't know who it is until about 8.30 on Thursday night. How does that get ready for that game? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, you know, one, one or two of the things that we've learned and, and when we've been, you know, been fortunate enough to be in the spot where we've got the one or the two seed <clears throat> Is uh, uh, not to try to not to try to guess who's going to win, and put more time into the team that we think is going to win. You know, we don't have any control over that, uh, so we've stayed away from that the last couple of times. Uh, and then the other, and probably the most important thing, is we put you know we're going to put ninety percent of our time into our team getting better this week. You know, we we worked on some stuff this morning. We've got Tuesday, we've got Thursday. You know, so we've still got two practice opportunities that for us to work on our stuff and get better. And because uh, uh, it just isn't, you know, we, we've spun our wheels in the past and uh, uh, we found it better to, to just work on our stuff. And, and when we do that, I mean, I, you know, our guys know. Um, and I think, uh, I think you guys, you know, when I say that, that, that is no indication of how hard we think the game is going to be or the respect that we have for Illinois State and Drake. It's just what we found. You know, we're going to work on our stuff because we don't have control who, who who's going to win that game. We know no matter we know, we know no matter which team it is. We had two close games with Illinois State. You know, Drake came in here and about beat us on our home floor. Like yeah, we know we got our hands full either way. Uh, but we'll spend most of our time working on our stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I uh, uh, he's had a just had a terrific year, and and probably in some ways coming off of you know he he didn't play a lot as a freshman. He had a very important role on our team, but he didn't play a lot of minutes as a freshman, and then the medical uh, condition last year, and so not playing, you know, he didn't have a lot of experience when the year started, and so in some ways in terms of his numbers um, exceeded you know my expectations, um, his work ethic, you know the things that the, the things that really matter. Uh, what he's brought to the table have been you know, are things that uh, um, that we knew were coming, that I knew were coming. Because you know, being around him every day, um, so it is. When a, when a when a young guy's working that hard and he's having that much fun, it's nice to see him um, have one of those come his way. When it comes to playing Noah, at the five, <clears throat> there's a lot of size at the five position this year in the conference. Um, I have to imagine that's played a role in what you've done at that spot this year. But uh, given what he's done lately. Is also part of the calculus there too. You know you're going to have to probably double the post when he's in the game, and the comfort level of mm-hmm. doubling the post uh, against a particular opponent. Yeah, you know that's the that's the challenge, and it it uh, right it played out right in front of our on national TV. You know, just in front of our eyes or the sold out crowd, right? I mean, it played out for everybody to see that. All right, they got Northern Iowa's got their guy. They're going to pick and pop, and and Robbins is one of the best players in in the valley, and they're going to Drake's going to try to throw it to him and. Uh, it's a uh, it's an interesting dynamic, uh, and one that you know on our side of it to have Fife and JD both, so we can go back to 
you, we can go right back to one of those guys if we need to. Uh, is a a big deal on our side of it, at least for me, you know, to know that we've got both those guys, uh, of course. Uh, but I, yeah, I mean, there's there's no way, you know, there isn't any way I don't think that you can say going into a game, hey, we're going to get the better side of that deal, right? I mean, that's it's going to play out no matter who you're playing against. We just know that Noah's going to have a tough time guarding their center and their center's going to have a tough time guarding Noah. But uh, going into the game, you just don't know. It could play out like it did uh, on Saturday where we get the better end of it. You know, it could go the other way. Um, but it's something that, you know, at Evansville, uh, against uh, Evansville here, right? I'm thinking of the right one, and uh, and now against Drake, you know it's been good to us. Last time you won an outright top <clears throat> was that 2010 team, and they turned out to be pretty special. Are there some parallels you see between this team and that team, or did they do it different ways? Yeah, um, diff- Both teams were efficient offensively, so some some similarities there. Uh, and, and we were running, obviously, we were running different stuff at that time. Um, so our, our our offensive scheme was was different, um, but very efficient offensive teams. That team was a better defensive team, and that team was older. And now this team has has improved a lot in the last ten days defensively. You know, as I as I mentioned, we've picked up our activity level, we've picked up our communication. I think the guys can feel how important it is to you know, to guard. You know how, what that means in a game when you defend a team possession after possession after possession, and how hard that gets for them, and the kind of momentum you can pick up. The last ten days is the best I've felt about that. That team in 2010, they were all together in 2009, and we we, we got to be really good defensively in 2009, and we and the whole team was back except for Travis Brown. So there's just a different experience level, and it's taken. You know, this team is right now playing the, its best defense of the year, Gary, yeah, but that team was doing it all year long. And a lot to do with just being really old. Like, those guys were old. Yeah, I look at all of them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't seen, I guess I hadn't seen that one this morning. But I, I look at all of them. Yeah, I, and I do every year. Last year, I was looking at all of them, even when we weren't in the at-large picture. So I, I think I've told you guys before, I, I look at all that stuff. I, I didn't, all the time. Yep. <clears throat> Anybody else? Good. All right. Thanks.